Right, so I'm on something a little bit different today. I'm on an NC750X, but you might notice there's no clutch lever because this is the DCT version. So I'm going to take it out for a little spin, a little test drive, see what I think of it. Because you know I'm looking for a, another bike to commute on, so this is one on the list. I'm not saying I'm going to buy this bike, but I've got to test ride all of them. While I'm looking for the one that's perfect for the journey I need. I've got an Africa Twin, so it's not all about vanity. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to get a bike that's uh, fit for the purpose. Well, I can say straight off the bat, the screen's useless. It uh, blows the wind straight into my face. Can't see uh, jack shit out of the mirrors. So let's adjust those here. It's weird not pulling the clutch in. I mean, I did ride the Africa Twin with this gearbox and I loved it, but it took at least uh, 10 minutes to get used to. Not much more, I went to pull the clutch in then. Did you see that? Fool. So it's in drive mode at the moment, which means it's in its most economical mode. So it changes up really quick, like 43 miles an hour, fifth gear already. But that's why it gets so many miles to the gallon. It gets fantastic mileage. I think it's around 80 miles to the gallon, which is pretty good. It's got another trick up its sleeve, which I shall show you in a minute when I park up and uh, give you a little look round. I do like this dash. I was going to rev it then. I was going to get a little rev, but I would have ended up in the back of that truck because it's automatic. It is the epitome of being lazy, this bike. It is so easy to ride. It's phenomenally easy to ride. Where's the wind blast getting me? Hits me just where the visor starts, so if I open... Yeah, if I open the visor, it hits me straight in the face, so I'd, I'd have to put a bigger screen on it. I quite like this blue, I have to admit. I'm not normally a fan of blue bikes, but this is a nice colour. <laughs> Look at me, getting all girly. Oh, I like the colour. This colour's really nice. Men can like colours too. I'm just saying men can like colours too. And talking of colours, I really like this dashboard. It's green now because I'm being very economical. But if I rev it a bit more, I don't want to go too much because I'll crash into this car. But you'll see. See? See, it changes colour. It's like magic. It's a magic dashboard. And talking of dashboard, on the dashboard we've got a speedo in the middle that is nice and clear. We've got the rev counter on the outside that uh, changes colour. I believe you can change this or that rev counter to any colour you want. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that, but I believe. Uh, it's got the gear mode here, which is related to the switch here. It's got the time, fuel level. It's got trips, average miles per gallon, that sort of thing. Oh, I went for the clutch again. I had a little panic then. I thought, shit! <laughs> but it's not there. There is no clutch. But so far, so good. I really, really like it. And I've only been on the bike for five minutes. But it's just one of those bikes you can just uh, take in your surroundings because you haven't got to worry about what the bike's doing. And that's quite handy in London with all the stop-start. Because that's the pain in the arse for me. The commuting. Oh, it drives me mad. So let's uh, pull it in here and have a little look round while we've got time. I've only got it for a short while. So this isn't a review. This is more of a first impression. So, uh, let's stick it here. So when you stop, you just bang neutral, and guess what? You're right, neutral. It'll say there, nothing, but the end light comes on. So, even fools can use it. Hello. Alright, so here you have NC750X, the adventure style model. They do a S version, which is more street. Even though this is street, it's not an adventure bike, it's kind of designed to look like that. It's slightly higher on the suspension and more adventure styling, but I won't really take it off-road because it's got 17-inch wheels, which means it's a road bike. So, as I said, 17-inch wheels, front and rear. I won't go through all the rubbish on it. I'll put that on screen because that takes up time and I'd rather be riding. But it's nice. I really like it. It's not the flashiest or sexiest bike in the world but it does a job and that's what this bike's designed to do is to do a job oh this is what i want to show you here this is the magical part of this bike no let me show you the rear first that's where the fuel goes in what's this here it's a trunk it's a hole it's some storage for your crash helmet amazing people call it a frunk I don't know why. That's a weird name. I would never call it a frunk. That just sounds like a posh bloke called Frank. It's a frunk. But there's not really a lot I can say about the bike. I've ridden the S version. 
I did a little review on that or a first impression on that and I was very impressed with that and that was a manual version so I wanted to take out the DCT version but soon as I've already ridden the street version I thought I'd take out this uh, faux adventure bike anyway let's get on and ride make sure it's in neutral which it is see what I did there left it in neutral so you got to press this D you'll hear the clunk D will come up on the dashboard and let's take this down some uh, little twisty roads just to see how nimble it is I'm not going to blast it because that's not this type of bike this is a commuter this is uh, Europe's number one commuter and probably for a good reason it's bloody easy to ride <laughs> oh, it's phenomenally easy I mean I could go to sleep now that's not to say it's boring but I could go to sleep now because I'm so relaxed and chilled out. I mean, there aren't really that many boring bikes on the road. Journalists will have you believe that there are loads of boring bikes on the road. They'll say, oh, this bike's boring, this bike's a commuting, this bike's a beginner bike. But fun comes from within. Fun does not come from the motorcycle. You don't have to do 4,000 miles an hour to have fun. I mean, I ride a Honda Grom. That's one of the slowest bikes around and the handling's not that great, but I still have fun on it. So why can I not have fun on this? So look at me, I'm so casual, relaxed, one hand, chilling out. It's saying 15.1 miles per litre. I haven't changed that since I've been on it, so I don't know how this has been ridden. It might have been ragged, it might have been ridden sedately. 15.1 miles per litre, I don't know. Is that good? I don't know. I don't really pay attention to it. It's really nice for plodding around. It doesn't encourage you to go fast. It doesn't encourage you to go stupid. It's not that type of bike. It doesn't make you want to go and rip around the country lanes. It makes you want to almost sit side saddle and look at the scenes. But I wouldn't suggest that because you're driving to a car in front. That's not very clever. It's basically a bike that can do everything. If you don't want a scooter and you want to look more motorcycly, then this is the bike you go for. Because it's basically a scooter. It's got a hole so you can put your stuff in it and it's automatic. So the only difference is really is the gearbox and it's got proper size wheels. 25 miles an hour, fourth gear. This bike knows how to save petrol. It's sipping on it. It's like that tight person at the bar. You know the one that drinks one drink all night because it's their round coming up next. It will sit there all night sipping the same drink. Sip, sip, sip. And then when it's their round, ding, ding, last orders have gone. They're out the bar, they haven't brought you around. That's what this bike is. It's the tight bloke in the bar. I'm still going for the clutch. There is no clutch, stop it. See the size of that? Can't get through. What you want is a motorcycle. I mean, look, no clutch. Look, one hand, five miles an hour, one hand. I ain't even got to think about reaching over there. I haven't got to think about it. My foot's redundant. My foot could go on holiday now. My foot could take a vacation anywhere it wants. It's not needed. You can hear from first to second clunk in a bit. You can't really feel it. You can hear it more than feel it. But second to third, third to fourth, fourth to fifth, I don't think I've been up to sixth yet. You can't feel it at all, it's seamless. And this is in uh, drive mode. I will try Sport out in a minute when I've got more of an open road so I can have a bit more of a play with it. But round here, drive's fine. And I would say you'll probably be to keep it in drive most of the time when you're commuting because you don't really need the speed, you just need to commute. So you need to save the petrol and save the pennies because you're going to work to earn those pennies. I could hear it clunking down a bit then. Third to second, I, well, I say hear it. I probably did hear it and had a little tiny click in the foot peg, but it's not too bad. I do like the fact that I haven't got to put it in neutral when I stop. I don't have to fiddle around with the clutch. I don't have to fiddle around with my foot. I just sit here and then I can go. I went no feet then, no feet, one hand. Even people that can't ride can ride this. It's relaxing. It's like therapy. <laughs> you don't have to think about the day. You just get on and ride. And that's kind of what you need in a commuter bike. You need to just get on and ride. You don't want to think about anything else. You've got enough stress, we're going to work. You've got enough stress at home. You don't want to have your bike stressing you out as well with the stop start, the London commute. Even though this is nowhere near a London commute, this is country lanes, only because I hate London and I didn't want to take the bike that way, I thought I'd take it out here because it's a lovely day. I'm becoming a fan. I really am becoming a fan of the DCT gearbox. I rode it on the Africa Twin over a year ago and I was a fan of it then and I'm a fan of it now. I think it works slightly better on the Africa Twin. I don't know why, I just felt more at home with the DCT on the Africa Twin than this. Not to say it's bad on this, it's not. It's 
bloody brilliant. I don't know, maybe I just gunned it a bit more so it was a bit slicker in the gear changes. Whereas this is in economy mode, so it's uh, changing up a bit quick. Power is not going to set your world alight, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to wet your pants at this. But I keep saying all the way through, <laughs> that's not what the bike's for. The bike is built for a purpose. And what is that purpose? Relaxation, commuting, and you can even take it away for the weekend. I could probably get a weekend's worth of stuff just in that little bit there. Put a small back box on the back and you're away. You can go out touring. All right, so if I do it in sport mode, that's sport one. If I hold it down, sport two, hold it down again, that's sport three. But we've got the wrong type of road now, so it's pointless. I'll keep it in sport three and let's see how it handles around these little uh, tight, twisty, greasy roads. Let's see if I can feel the jerkiness in. I'm still going for the clutch, fall. holds onto the gears longer and you can really feel the difference it does transform the bike it's actually I wouldn't say crazy but it's fun it can be fun the gears are a lot more snappy let's say they hang on longer 43 still in second 41 and you've got three little keep going for the clutch stop having the clutch you've got three levels of sport so uh, you've got lots to play with on this all right back in drive because I want to now change it to we're in manual now so let's get uh, acquainted with the paddles that's uh hold on i can't see that's up so ups on the finger side and thumb will be down so let's stick my hand there and that's quite easy i mean a lot of people will complain about this and say it's not a real motorcycle it's got an automatic gearbox it's got buttons but really is it that much different from a quick shifter i mean if you've got a quick shifter on your bike you don't use the clutch you just use the buttons but basically it's with your foot so if they put buttons on the, the dash for you then what's the difference second third yeah it really is easy and it's quite smooth between gears very smooth very i don't know why i said it like that very smooth i mean so that's just a quick play in manual i haven't really done much with it i'd rather take it out on a dry road and play with the manual so i can push it a little bit more and i'm not going to do that with someone else's bike so I'll just stick it back in drive and head my way back to the shop. Would I buy one? Mm, not sure. Not sure. But it is a hot contender for the commute market. And soon as I'm in the market for a commute, it may be on the list. Well, it is on the list. I'm lying. I made that sound more dramatic than it was. It is on the list. It's most definitely on the list for commuting. I don't actually see the point of buying this bike in manual. It makes no sense to me. The gears are so short, as in it tops out at six and a half thousand revs. When I rode one last time manual, I was bouncing my face off the dashboard every gear change because it's intuitive to rev a bike out a little bit higher than this one does. So uh, automatic, yeah, makes sense, makes perfect sense. Don't buy one if you want excitement in your life. I mean, don't. But buy one if you commute and you want an easy life, if you want to de-stress on the way to and from work. This is the bike. There's not many bikes that can de-stress me as much as this, apart from scooters. Right, so here we get to test. This is like commuting, I suppose. There's a bit of traffic. See, on my other bikes, the geared bikes, I'm eager to get past. I just, yeah, just let's go, let's go. But on this, I'm quite happy to just plod. It's a plodder. <laughs> it's a new category of bike. Plod, the Honda plodder. All manufacturers are going to do them. Designed for your plodding needs. The only problem with this test ride is the roads are very slippery. They are far too slippery to test a bike properly. So I only get to test it at slow speeds and uh, the drive mode is perfect for this. Right, so now we're in Sport 3 because the road opens up a bit here. I'm not even going to bother with 1 and 2, we're just going straight Sport 3. So let's uh, see what happens here. I forgot where this bend goes. It's all right. Good girl. We can have fun on this. See, and when you're finished having fun, back into drive, save some money, back to sip the juice mode. 
sixth gear, 45 miles an hour. I mean, I can feel it chugging just a little bit under me. But I suppose if I twist the throttle, it will change down. How many is it going to change down? Let's find out. Went down two then. So it's very intuitive. Well, it's not intuitive, it's all programmed in. It doesn't think for you. It might do, it might have an artificial intelligence that I don't know about. But uh, if you give it some gas, it will drop down a gear and uh, go for it. The gearbox is a DCT, which is a dual clutch transmission. So those of you in the car world will know exactly what that means. It means one gear's in gear, while the next gear is almost selected. It's kind of selected, it's ready to go into. So uh, it makes it almost seamless. It's a lot better for basically up and down gears. It's not like a scooter, a continuous belt where it just goes Wah! just goes crazy this actually changes up gears so that's how they keep the petrol uh, consumption pretty good because they can tailor the revs to the style of riding to the mode you're in like drive will be the most economical and uh, sport will be the most uh, drinky drinky that's a technical term oh I've got to worry about the clutch look at that how easy was that one we go on the M25 no we won't because that's the M25 turn off uh, no, we go this way. I need to go this way anyway. I know what I'm talking about. I know where I'm going, honest. I'm going to put it in back into Sport 3 and I'm going to give it a little bit just to see what it's like up at motorway speeds. Because I'm only doing one junction because I need to come off at the next junction. So yeah, Sport 3 is quite good. I'm getting a lot of wind blast because I'm tall. I'm six foot two. So I'm getting a quite a bit in the face. But it's quite responsive in this three mode. Let's come out one more. Here we go. So a motorway speed sitting in fifth. Let's get it up to 70. Yeah, so it's fifth gear in uh, Sport 3, around 70. Let's just chuck it back into. Uh, drive and it's six gear now and we're sitting at three just over three thousand revs just over three thousand revs at 70 miles an hour it's not bad and it really is smooth it is such a smooth motorcycle it's a good all-rounder if your commute's even longer if your commute's not just in london if it's on the motorway you can do it on this as i said the only thing this bike is lacking is that thrill factor of when you want to take it around the country lanes and go mad and sort of like wheelie and do all stupid stuff on it but to tell you the truth, if you are in the market for that sort of bike, you won't even look at this. So uh, why are you watching now? Why have you got to this point of the video? It makes no sense. So for those of you that are stuck around and are interested in this bike, I can highly recommend it. It's a really, really good bike. It really is a good bike. I said when I rode the 750S that it surprised me how good the bike was and how much I liked it. And this one is just as much as a surprise. It's very comfortable. It's got lots of storage, which is very handy. It's very smooth. It's very easy to ride. And of course, it's very good on fuel. The only thing that puts me off of this bike are the looks. But the beauty of that is I can't actually see it from where I'm sitting here. And from here, I quite like the look of it. But don't forget, if you do want to test ride a new Honda or go down and have a look at new Hondas, then go to Coulston. Go to these guys, Doble Motorcycles in Coulston. They'll help you out. Go and see the sales guys and they will do everything they can to help you out. They will bend over backwards. This is not a sponsored video. This was not given to me to do a review on. This is actually a test ride because I'm looking at bikes for my own commute. So I would like to thank them for that. And I'd also like to promote them because they've been really good to me over the years. So get yourselves down to Doble Motorcycles and I'll put the address on the screen now. Even if you don't live near. So I'm going to go back to the shop now, get great hugs off them for promoting them ever so slightly then. Hopefully get just a little bit more discount on whatever bike I'm going to buy. So I shall bid you farewell. And you know I love you all. Stay safe. Fish out. Get all your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get, go, gone. get gone. Get all your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead and get